Today, dear children, we join in the holy sacrifice of the Mass as we remember the first Friday of the month of March and as we continue in our observance of Lent. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. My dear children and teachers, dear friends in Christ, we continue to observe these Lenten days, mindful of the Lord's suffering and dying for us. Let us put ourselves in God's holy presence now, as we acknowledge our sins and so prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you give us these days to help us grow in holiness. Lord, have mercy. Christ, you give us this time as a season of repentance. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you invite us to show others the mercy and love you show to us. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that through this time of Lent, you may lead us with sincere hearts to attain the holy things that are to come. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Today I set before you life and prosperity, death and destruction. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I give to you today, loving him and walking in his ways, keeping his commandments, then you will live and grow numerous. And the Lord your God will bless you in the land that you are entering to occupy. I call heaven and earth today to witness. I set before you life and death, the blessing and the curse. Choose life then, that you and your descendants may live by loving the Lord your God, heeding his voice, and holding fast to him. For that will mean life for you, a long life for you to live in the land that the Lord swore that he would give to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to God's word. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does, prospers. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff, which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Repent, says the Lord. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, 
O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders and the chief priests and the scribes and be put to death and on the third day be raised. Then he said to all, if anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross each day and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear children and dear friends in Christ. Our Lord in the Gospel today speaks about the cross. Whoever wishes to come after me, whoever wishes to be my follower, must take up his cross every day and follow me. We think of the cross of Jesus again and again during the time of Lent. And we will be talking about the cross of Jesus many times. Last Friday, we prayed the stations of the cross. We remembered the things that happened as Jesus carried the cross to the hill of Gal Calvary, where he was crucified and died for us. We saw the hurtful things, Pontius Pilate condemning him, the soldiers abusing him, Jesus falling, Jesus being mocked by the others, and finally Jesus being nailed to the cross and dying there after suffering so much. But what I want you to think about today is the good people that were there as Jesus carried the cross. Yes, the cross was so hard, but what made things a little bit better for Jesus were the people who loved him. Think first of our Blessed Mother Mary. She could not take the cross away from Jesus. All she could do there was to be with him, to strengthen him, to show him that he was not alone, and to be there even to the moment of his death. We think of a man named Simon. Simon was out working, and he came home and he looked at this crowd of people gathered around, and while he was there, the soldiers forced him to help Jesus carry the cross. And I am sure at first, Simon was not happy with that. Sometimes when we are made to do something, we don't feel happy about it either. But when Simon saw the goodness of Jesus, he was pleased to help. He helped Jesus to carry the cross. Think of Saint Veronica, that holy woman. She could not fight the soldiers. She could not take the cross away from Jesus. All she could do was take the veil off her head and wipe his face. Such a little thing, a little action, a little act of kindness. But our Lord was so pleased with her little action that he gave her a gift, the picture of himself on her veil. His way of thanking her and thanking us for the little things that we do. There were the holy women of Jerusalem who were there. They were crying for Jesus, and even though he was suffering so much, he took time to comfort them. And he reminds us that we must be ready to help and comfort other people too. There were other good people that we hear about in the story of the stations. We hear of Mary Magdalene, 
who stayed with Jesus to the end. We hear of St. John the Apostle, the youngest of them, not much older than our eighth graders. And they were there with Jesus, Magdalene and St. John, with our Blessed Mother Mary, when Jesus died on the cross. We think of good men like Nicodemus and Joseph of Arimathea, who took the body of Jesus down from the cross and sadly brought it to the tomb to be buried. There were good people there. And I want you boys and girls to remember that. When there are difficult things in our life, please God, there will always be good people there to help us. First and foremost, your parents. They help you as Mary helped Jesus. They're there to show you their love and their affection. I pray that you will have people like Simon, who will help you carry your cross, and Veronica, who will give you a little kindness when you need it. I pray that you will have people like those women who were so sorry to see what Jesus was undergoing. I pray that you will have people to stand by you through every difficulty, as St. John the Apostle and Mary Magdalene and a few other good people did. Think of these good people and pray during Lent. Pray for those people who stand by you but also be ready to stand by others to help them too. Because you see, boys and girls, you are Simon, you are Veronica, you are John the Apostle, and even you are a Blessed Mother Mary. When you go out of your way to help someone who is carrying a difficult cross, then you are those good people. May the Lord help you to be those good people to others. And as you do, you are making a beautiful gift to Jesus the Lord. May God bless you all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. We stand in God's holy presence as we offer these petitions, saying after each of them, Lord, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Archbishop, Timothy Cardinal Dolby, and all the leaders of the Church, that they will help us to continue to grow in faith and holiness during Lent, we pray to the Lord. The Lent will be a time of grace, for every person, every family, and our whole parish, we pray to the Lord. For the young people of our school and CCD program who are preparing for the Sacrament of Confirmation this month, that they will truly open their hearts to the gifts of the Holy Spirit, we pray to the Lord. For our principal, Mrs. Vanelli our teachers, and all of the assistants in our school, that the Lord will continue to guide them as they help our school to go and grow. We pray to the Lord. For doctors and nurses, EMTs, and healthcare professionals, that they will continue in their vocation of serving the sick and the suffering, we pray to the Lord. For those who are sick, particularly anyone from our school who is experiencing sickness at this time, and for our beloved dead, we pray to the Lord. Let us offer our own prayers in silence. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers of your children. 
Guide and protect us during our journey of Lent, and let all that we do be pleasing in your sight. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, that through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. For the mystery of this water and wine, May we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your witness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Wash away our iniquity, O Lord, and cleanse us from our sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May your merciful grace prepare us, your servants, O Lord, for the worthy celebration of the Easter mystery and lead us to it by a devout way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given us, your children, a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of our hearts, so that freed from disordered affections, we may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so we join with all the angels and the saints to praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. The Lord Jesus now comes to this altar to change bread and wine into his body and blood. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, <clears throat> when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it 
to be his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Only we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Timothy our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At our Savior's command, informed by his divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. 
God. The old devil takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Now, we ask you to open your hearts to welcome our Lord in Holy Communion spiritually to you. Children, before we come to the final prayer and blessing, we give thanks to God that we have joined in the holy sacrifice of the Mass today. I hope that you are coming to church on Sunday. It is so important for us to remember that. The Lord wants to see you here. Please come to church to any of our Masses, and we are delighted to have you here. We continue to pray for you for your families, for safety, and good health. Let us pray. May this holy sacrifice, O oh God, remain active in our hearts and work ever more strongly within us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat>